So I hope the audience takes away um, from this production the idea that happiness comes in all sorts of shapes and forms and um, that even in our modern day, um, we still have some work to do on, on people's human rights. And <laughs> so I think uh, a post-COVID audience is going to come to this show and um, we've all been so good um, locking down and staying at home and, and doing as we're told. Um, this is an opportunity to come and see what happens when people don't do as they're told. Um, so it's something a little bit fun for a while, a bit lighthearted and get to be taken away and, and live in this, this crazy chaotic world. And um, there's a happy ending, but we just don't know uh, yet what kind of happiness and happy ending is gonna be. There's no doubt that people will leave here um, joyful. Mozart does the same trick that nature does, in that it's beautiful. It doesn't depend on weather necessarily, it's what you see and how you are in it. And so I think the majesty of the piece is that any person, young or old, finds himself in maybe the first time that one character. Um, if you're fortunate enough to get to experience this opera multiple times, you'll realize that you're every character and that uh, young and old will certainly uh, take it differently. I believe this is one of the great wisdom tales that's ever been told. Um, it's amplified with some of the most magisterial music that's ever been conceived by the human mind. Mm -hmm. um, the themes are universal. It doesn't discriminate. It never discriminated when it was written. Uh, it doesn't discriminate now. So it's a vessel that we all can swim in. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to be a musician, you don't have to be educated, you just have to be a human being and be alive to experience the absolute joy that this opera represents.